Ozzy Guillen sporting a shiner after he was hit with a foul ball on Thursday. White Sox and Indians in Cleveland. Early on, it was deja vu for Ozzy. Ezekiel Carrera hits a foul ball towards the White Sox dugout, almost hit Ozzy in the face. He's saying what gives. He wants a catcher's mask. Manny Acton in the Indians dugout. He's getting a good chuckle out of it. Later in the at-bat, facing Gavin Floyd, a chopper up the middle. Nice play, though, from Alexi Ramirez all the way in front of the second base bag. Ranging over from shortstop, he gets him by a fraction of a step. Bottom two, Floyd settles in nicely. Matt Laporta down swinging, then Lonnie Chisenhall. Same result. Floyd looking good, but how about the White Sox offense? No score, top five. Carlos Quentin up with two on, facing Carlos Carrasco. The ball hit deep. Way back. Bentley looks up. You can put it on the ball, yes, a bomb off the bat of Quentin, and the Sox finally cross home plate, they lead it 3-0, mercy, Woo. Quentin's 20th on the season, and with that lead, Floyd really got things going. Here in the sixth, he gets Michael Brantley to chase in the dirt, and then Matt Laporta frozen and the seventh. To the eighth inning, though, in a bit of a jam, runners on first and second, but he gets Carlos Santana to bounce out to second base. However, the runners go into scoring position. That'd be it for Floyd. So Matt Thornton in. Runners on second and third facing the pinch hitter Orlando Cabrera. And he gives it a ride out to left field. But Juan Pierre able to track it down onto the warning track to make the catch and end the inning. To the ninth. Two outs and a runner on second. Sergio Santos facing Laporta. He gone. And this ball game is over. White Sox take it 3-0. Gavin Floyd, seven and two-thirds innings, four hits. He struck out five, no runs allowed. Carlos Quentin went three for five, while Adam Dunn went two for five on the evening.